Let's take a look at this sum operator as well. The first thing I want you to understand is something I mentioned just a moment ago. Sum is actually an alias for any. So you can make use of the keyword any or sum. Totally up to you. They do absolutely the same exact thing. When we think about sum, let's first consider what happens with greater than sum right here. Let's imagine that on the left-hand side, we have a value like 50. And then maybe as a result of some subquery, we get back two values or two rows in one single column. Maybe the value is 20 and 100. So these are meant to represent two values in one column. The sum operator is going to make sure that 50 is greater than at least one of these two values. In this case, 50 is greater than 20, so this would evaluate to true. If the greater than sign was reversed, then we would check to see if 50 is less than at least one of these two values. Well, 50 is definitely less than 100, so again, it would evaluate to true. So that's pretty much it for sum. We're just making sure that one value, which is placed on the left-hand side, is greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, etc. at least one value placed on the right-hand side. So to understand what's going on here, let's take a look at a quick example. So in this case, we want to show the name of products that are more expensive than at least one product in the industrial department. Let's walk through this with the imaginary data set right here just to make sure that the goal is super clear. The first thing we'd probably do is try to find the price of all products in the industrial department. So we would take these two products right here. And technically in this case, because we're using sum, it's more like a copy, just a very small detail. So then we're going to take a look at all these different rows and we're going to only keep around the ones that have a price greater than either 328 or 796. So in this case, 876 is greater than 328, so we keep that around. 412 is definitely greater than 328. 10 is not, however, greater than at least one of these two, so we would drop 10. 328 right here is not greater than, it is greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, but it's not greater than 328, so we would drop that. 796 is definitely greater than 328, so we'd keep that one around. We'd keep around 989 but we would drop 298. And so we're left with this right here. So that's our goal, that's what we're trying to do. All right, so first off, let's imagine what the subquery should be. Well, the subquery, we're going to want to find the price of all the products in industrial. So it would probably be something like select price from products where department equals industrial. Then inside of our where over here, we're going to compare the price and we're going to make sure that the price is greater than sum of the values listed inside of the column that's coming out of this subquery right here. That's the goal. All right, so let's go run the subquery first and then integrate it into the overall query. So first we do, excuse me, not sum, but select price from products where the department is industrial. And as usual, make sure you've got single quotes right there, along with a capital I for industrial. All right, so that's all of our different prices. So now we would integrate this as a subquery as a part of the overall query. So rather than rewriting this entire thing this time around, I'll just put in select name, department, and price from products, where the price is greater than sum of the values that are going to be listed inside of this subquery. And we take that subquery and toss it in right there. And that's pretty much it. So we can now run this, and there we go. So now in theory, all the different products right here have a price greater than at least one of the products inside of industrial. And this of course might include items that are inside of industrial as well. So like right there, that is inside of industrial. Okay, so that's it for sum. Now, sum is one of these keywords where it's kind of hard to show you a very compelling example. This is another one of those things where I'm sure we could come up with a really great data set that would give you a good example of where to use sum, but it's another one of those topics where when you need to use it on a project, your mind is probably gonna say, ah, oh, ha, this is where I should use sum. It's something where 
it's kind of hard to really focus on in isolation, but when you need to use it, you're probably going to think of it pretty quickly. All right, so that is it for subqueries for right now. Remember the whole big thing around subqueries when it comes to the where clause is that we really want to think about the operator that we are using because that is going to dictate the structure of data that is going to come back from our subquery. Let's take a pause right here and continue in just a moment.